All right, so that's it for a login. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define a home route. So let me clear everything here and I'm going to touch a new file. So instead of source routes, I'm going to define home.ts. So I'll go to home. And in fact, let's not forget to actually do an app.use of home. We're gonna need to go to routes slash index.ts and also have our home export over here. So when it comes to home, inside of this file, once again, we're going to import router from Express. Let's new it up. So we'll have a router and we'll have a single route. So let's say router.get slash home. And what we could do in here is we can return back, let's say the user instance. So we could do user dot find by ID and we're gonna reference rec session user ID. So we'll do res.json await that result. So once again, this will be an asynchronous function. Because of that, what we need to also do is we need to wrap this with catch async, which will simply catch any errors related to unhandled promise rejections. So let's import that as well. And finally, I'm going to use a non-null assertion operator. So let's also not forget to add the auth middleware. And of course, we need to export default router. Okay, so this will work for the most part. Once again, I'm going to try to log in because I keep losing the cookie. Okay, so let's copy the value and let's go ahead and do a curl on localhost 3000 slash home. So we're gonna import it in app.ts and save this file. So now if we curl on localhost 3000 slash home, we're gonna pass in the cookie and we get back the user. Now the issue here is that we get too much information. So we're actually exposing the hashed password of the user, which is never good. And we're also exposing a useless underscore underscore V key from Mongoose. So what you could do to avoid this, of course, the easiest thing would be to simply go to, let's say home and modify the query. So in fact, to make it a bit more clear, let me make this a function body. So I'll take out the user and we'll do res.json with the user object. So what we could do is we can simply select specific keys. So let's say we want to select email. If we save that and I fire off the query, we get back the ID and the email address, only that. But to make it a bit more flexible, the other thing we could also do is we can select, let's say, minus password and also minus underscore underscore v. So if we run this now, as you can see, we get back the user object, except we don't get the password and we also don't get the underscore underscore v flag. So this will work, but if you have the same situation across multiple routes, what you could also do is you can go to user.ts file, which is where our model is defined. So we can go ahead and hook into the to JSON method. This one will accept an object with overwrites. So one override would be the transform function. This can be an arrow function, which will take in, as you can see, based on the signature, it's going to take in the original mongoose document. It's going to take the JSON representation. So effectively a, an object literal and also the options. So let's say doc representation and options. So now this representation will contain all of the properties. So if we just return that, this will not change anything. So in fact, let me do console log ret and we'll return ret. Let's see if this still works. So I'm going to fire off the request and I'm going to go back to my server. And as you can see, we get the JSON representation. So we get all the fields from the user document. The difference from the first argument is that doc is the mongoose model. Okay, so what we could do here is we can actually extract those properties or fields that we want to hide. So for example, we could extract underscore underscore V and also the password and have the rest of the fields under the object named rest. And we can return rest like this. So once again, if I go back here and if I do the exact same request, as you can see, we get the underscore ID, we get email, name created at, updated at, but we don't get the password or the underscore underscore V field. So this is how you can hide fields from your document when it's being transformed to JSON. And again, if we tried this as a guest, so for example, I'm going to delete the cookie and I try to access this protected route, we're gonna get an error. And just to be sure, we're getting an error with the status of 401. This 401, once again, is coming from our middleware author.ts and we're throwing in a custom unauthorized exception which has a status of 401. Now if I go ahead and try to call the logout route with the cookie, so let's do a post to logout passing in a dash v. As you're going to see we get set cookie sid to an empty value and the expiration is January 1st 1970. Anyway so that's been login and logout functionality. Hope you enjoyed that and I'm going to see you next time. Take care.